Hey, welcome to Three Count Commentaries. This is your boy Mongo Slade, and today we're we're going to talk about Steve Cutler getting fired. Not because I care about Steve Cutler at all, because I actually wasn't going to discuss this in the least, because he's not really that important. What is a big deal, however, is all the hubbub surrounding why Steve Cutler got fired. So, Steve Cutler gets fired February the fifth, twenty twenty one. Um, and the, 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 the dirt sheet started saying Vince McMahon is angry that Steve Cutler tested positive for COVID. And it's, it's an abomination that other people have tested positive for COVID yet. Steve Cutler is the only one who got fired. Then it comes out. Well, it wasn't just because he got fired because of having COVID It's he had COVID and then showed up at the PC with COVID. Then it was, well, he didn't really show up at the PC with COVID. He went to a new year's Eve party. And it spun out of there because Deanna Perrazzo, who was Steve Cutler's girlfriend, showed up. And then she started talking about how they were at a New Year's Eve party with dozens of other people, which we already knew. Because it was it's been out there for a while. And she was saying, but only Steve was fired. And and she was kind of Deanna Perrazzo is Italian, right? She should know Omerta. Shush, you know, stop snitching. No snitching. Don't be like, well, everybody should get fired. No. Stars get treated differently. All right. Stars and high value prospects get treated differently. So who did we see at this party? Apparently at this party were a bunch of people I didn't recognize, but I did recognize Sue Young, who doesn't work in WWE, Rich Swan, who also doesn't work in WWE, and uh, Ricochet and KC Catanzaro, who do work in WWE. And I heard that Cedric Alexander was also there, but I did not see a picture of Cedric Alexander. Uh, so... There, a lot of those people did disappear in January. A lot of them vanished. They went, you know, they kind of went cold. And then they started to sort of slowly matriculate back. And then Steve Cutler uh, was fired. So then it became a big deal that, you know, why was Steve Cutler fired and Ricochet and Casey Catanzaro weren't and Cedric Alexander wasn't. And they were there confirmed to have been there. And Dan Alparazzo was like, well, it's it's unfair and, you know, uh, clickbait dirt sheets, clickbait dirt sheets. And I'm like, okay, look, let's, let's break this thing down. Okay. One for anybody who might be a new listener, I am anti lockdown and these lockdowns have been going on for 11 months. It's been almost one full year of keeping people in their house. That's fucking bullshit. Okay. You cannot be asking people to, to just say, well, you have to stay in the house forever. No. Okay. No. Eventually people have to get on with their lives. Eventually, we have to move on. All right. So this idea that, oh, my God, everybody's in danger. Everybody it's like it's been a year. It's been a year. We're not dealing with Ebola. It's not vampires and fucking zombies biting people's heads off. Get the fuck over it. All right. People get the sniffles. Get over it. All right. And then you also have governors and shit like that are trying to open up the country again. Get the fuck over it. Fuck these lockdowns. The shit's illegal anyway. That's the first thing. Second thing, Casey Catanzaro and Ricochet. Now they have been they've been doing a lot because Casey Catanzaro had a, also had a birthday party right in the middle of the pandemic, and people gave her shit for that too. Now, case to Casey Catanzaro's uh, credit, she says um, that hey, look, we were following the guidelines. They said hey, you have to wear your mask till you get to a certain area, and then when they got to that area, they took the mask off, and that's where they was taking all the pictures and everything that they posted online. It's that so everybody can know that, you know, they didn't take the pictures with their fucking masks on because they're not idiots and they're not creeps. People who take pictures with their mask on are fucking creeps. You do an interview or something with a mask on, you're a fucking creep. You know, so they took all their pictures and everything, videos and all that type of stuff. They took all that stuff after they was already in their, their designated area. Um, and so they were all together. So, OK, whatever. They were following the rules quote unquote, following the rules. They also, when they tested positive, they were sent home. Okay. Or whatever the case may be, if they were ever tested positive. So that's, that should, that should have cleaned that up. So Steve Cutler getting fired. Now let's look at what, now let's look at this and I'm going to try to break this down. I'm assuming all the information that I have is correct. Let's see that Steve Cutler was uh, fired because he showed up and he went to a New Year's Eve party or whatever during the in the middle of the pandemic. And that's why he was fired. Well, there's two things about this. One, Steve Cutler threw Jackson Riker under the bus several months ago. Right. When Jackson Riker got into a bunch of trouble 
with uh, the whole Trump thing, where he basically just said, God bless Trump, and then everybody jumped on him and was trying to kick him in his ass. And there are still people who want Jackson Riker fired for, for what reason, who knows. Um, guy didn't hurt anybody, guy didn't do anything to anybody, except, you know, vote differently from you. And a bunch of pussies and bitter strawberries decided they was going to get um, upset about it. But uh, the guy, you know, Steve Cutler threw him under the bus. So this is karma, as far as I'm concerned. You know, he was like, look, we don't all agree. And just because we're tag team partners doesn't mean that I agree with him. Kind of threw him under the bus. So Steve Cutler earned getting fired. That's my opinion. All right. Sorry. Don't feel bad for him at all. Even though it sucks to see people get fired. Don't feel bad for him. He threw his partner under the bus instead of seeing being like, look, it's not that big of a deal, which is what I would have said. I'm like, look, man, this, what is he didn't hurt anybody. You know, he didn't rape nobody. He didn't get accused of raping nobody. He didn't get accused of, you know, beating up anybody or doing anything. You know, half the people judging him actually did some real bad shit in their life. So get over it. Um, so this is this is karma for Steve Cutler. The second thing is a lot of the other people that were said to have been there. I didn't see any of them on SmackDown. Now, what I, as far as the WWE people that I know. We know that Ricochet, Casey Catanzaro, and Cedric Alexander were there. That's just three, and there were probably more that they, we didn't see pictures of. But uh, let's be let's let's take this information. What brand is Ricochet on? Ricochet is on Raw. What brand is Casey Catanzaro on? Casey Catanzaro is on Smack is on NXT. Steve Cutler is on SmackDown. So what's on SmackDown that would make somebody particular? Particularly sensitive to what's going on in the world around them. The tribal chief, the head of the table, the guy who had leukemia, kind of want to not go out and work in the same building as Roman Reigns. Probably not a good idea. And then, on top of that, he SmackDown is the home of SJWs. So you got Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, who are both snitches. Kevin Owens is number one snitch. So you're working with snitches and the guy who got leukemia, probably not the best thing in the world for you to go to a New Year's Eve party and get your Yovid. All right. Probably not smart. Now, I'm not saying again, I started this video by saying I'm anti-lockdown. I'm anti-mask, too, by the way, anti-lockdown and anti-mask. But at the same time, you do have to be considerate. You have to understand that this guy just dealt with uh, having cancer just two years ago. Right. So you kind of have to be a little bit smarter and be like, OK, this guy's going to be in the building all the time, you know, got to smarten up. And then, of course, if somebody saw you saw a picture of you at this party, they're like, wait a minute, this guy's got to go. He's on my brand. Now, let's 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 continue this, because just because the guy went to a New Year's Eve party, he shouldn't have been fired for that. That's stupid. He could have been moved to another brand. Right, they could have dissolved the uh, wolves of the long, like Knights of the Lone Wolf, and or just replaced Steve Cutler with somebody else, and sent Steve Cutler back to NXT or sent him to Raw. He didn't need to be fired, right? So I'll be on his side when it comes to that. If it was a situation where it was they needed a sterile environment for Roman Reigns, okay, I get that, and I also get that this guy wants to live his own life. Just send them to NXT or send them to Raw, where, where there's no sick people. I, I don't know. I don't know what's up with Kyle O'Reilly. I heard people say Kyle O'Reilly was kind of high uh, high risk that he might have some type of uh, condition. That's why he was sitting at home for most of the pandemic. I thought it was because he was Canadian, but apparently people are saying like he's uh, he's high risk. I don't know for sure. I don't want to gossip or anything either. So let's just say that he he is. So I get it. You know that maybe you want to, but. Also, I made a video the other day, a couple of ways to go about stars being treated differently. Ricochet is a high value, f high value prospect. Um, Ricochet is still very young. He think he's only 30, 31 years old. This is a guy who comes very highly touted from the independence. He can only really do flips right now, but he can, he has the upside. He has a chance to develop. Same thing with Casey Catanzaro. She comes in as, you know, highly agile, you know, very likable individual, except for the people online who hates that she has birthdays and that she actually wants to celebrate them and that she doesn't want to sit in the house and and suffer like everybody else. Look, I, I saw that there were people who were saying, like, it's very selfish of you to go to a party while I was sitting in my home for 11 months. It's like, well, you're the idiot. OK, you're the fool 
who sat in the house for 11 months. Hell, my parents just threw a birthday party for my dad, who just turned 65. They don't give a fuck, okay? So, <laughs> older people don't even care anymore. It's 11 months into this thing. Now, maybe for two or three weeks, people would have been like, okay, you know, maybe we could find something to do. Hit the Netflix for two or three weeks. But for a fucking year? Come on. Get the fuck out of here. Get over it. Now we're at the point where he could have been moved to another brand. Back to Steve Cutler. We could have moved him to another brand. Um, so obviously they did this to make an example out of him. That people need to stop going to parties. People need to stop doing things. This also could be one of the reasons why, you know. But Ricochet was in the Royal Rumble. And Casey Catanzaro uh, was bounced from the NXT uh, Dusty Cup recently. So she's out. She's probably not doing anything anytime soon. And plus, I think she probably already had it. Maybe Ricochet already had it too. Um, so it's, it's, it's difficult to know uh, what's the reasoning. But I can see why you wouldn't fire Ricochet. I can see why you wouldn't fire Casey Catanzaro. And I can see why you would fire Steve Cutler. Of the people that we know, you know, Cedric Alexander is another high value prospect. Cedric Alexander has been working with the Hurt Business. He's been improving and doing very well. You know, Steve Cutler's just kind of been in limbo, not doing much of anything. He's the most uh, expendable of the guy of the guys involved. You know, they fired an expendable guy. Sorry, I mean, um, from what I was told from the dirt sheets, the dirt sheets are correct. Then the door is open for him to return at some point in the future. But probably by then, he'll probably have a job with Impact, um, which, where Deanna Perrazzo works. And Deanna Perrazzo needs to stop. Right? She needs to stop trying to explain herself, stop trying to explain what happened, especially to idiots online. Who the fuck cares? Look, just be like, look, we went to a New Year's Eve party, and that was that. If that's what got him fired, then so be it, you know? It sucks, but that's so be it. We was in our houses for 10 months up to that point. For fuck's sake, we were in the house from March to January or whatever. We didn't go to any birthday parties and go out to bars or whatever. We wanted to celebrate New Year's because hell, goddamn it, we made it through. All right. If people can't stand that, people don't like it. So what? Who cares? You know, stop living for other people. But um, ultimately, it, it does suck that he lost his job. But at the same time, he did throw Jackson Riker under the bus. At the same time, he could have just been moved to a different brand. And at the same time, he was nobody anyway. So this whole thing was just about, well, people are taking pictures and going to parties. And it's not fair that Steve Cutler got fired. And I say, well, life ain't fair. Life ain't fair, bruh. Sorry. Anyway, thank you guys for listening. Uh, like this video. Share this video. Subscribe to the channel. Um, spread the good word of 3Con commentaries. Utilizing the hashtag 3Con commentaries. If you want to buy me lunch. Hit me in the hit the cash app at the in the description. Uh, Schwarmers are six dollars. You know, not a lot. Um, if you wanted to take the one dollar challenge, send me a buck. I appreciate that too. And I'll, I'll talk to you guys later.